this is my <laughs> this morning. He just wanted to come and cuddle, and he got on my um, pillow. <laughs> so his head's on the same pillow. As me. <laughs> Good morning, my love. <laughs> He's helping me get through this <laughs> cloudy day out there. Can you see? Oh, uh, I'm not getting enough sun. Sun, it's off and on right now in the spring. <laughs> but anyways, he's cracking me up this morning. <laughs> uh, the, the joys that our cats bring us, right? <laughs> Watch out for his long lizard tongue. <laughs> Do you see that? <laughs> Come on, everyone. Over. There's a lot of them in that bush. <laughs> Good, and that one too. Hi all my friends. Let me show you how crazy our weather is in the springtime. This is crazy. All right. <laughs> All right, just a little while ago, I was filming the bees, and now look, <laughs> it's raining, and it got cold really quickly. I thought maybe I'll go walk over by the lake, which is down that way, and we can chat over by the lake today, but oh no, there's other plans, but at least I got the bees before this happened. But that's how it can be. Just rainy one day, sunny the next day, and then partly cloudy, and then all of a sudden rain again. That's what it was today. But today was like that sunny yesterday. But yeah, that's really coming down. I better close the door now. Well, my friends, I want to go over what's been going on, all right? So I'll try to keep a weekly at least update of how things are, <laughs> right? I got my paperwork done that I had to get done uh, over or regarding my um, personal matters. So that's done. So wahoo. Uh, I still have some time of waiting with uh, with that personal issue. I don't know how long, taking all that day by day, and the doctor thing day by day. I was also hoping to see an eye doctor. I haven't got that worked out yet. So I don't know, and time is, you know, ticking for when I need to be out of this RV park. I am hoping to maybe get an extension into one or two weeks into May, if they can still fit me in, but I'll have to go to a, a weekly basis versus monthly. So we'll see if I can do that. So with the next 
agenda <laughs> is while working on all of those things I made it to my storage unit and I swapped out some things so I ended up dropping some things and picking back some things up as I'm redoing my van. I picked up my sun cell because really need to have that because I'm always trying to protect my skin from the sun. Even though I am out in the sun I try to manage it and also use sunscreen and I love my sun cell. I do have other videos about that so anybody who's new to my channel um, you can look back on my past videos about my sun cell but you'll definitely be seeing it coming up here soon I'm sure <laughs> as we warm up and I'm so excited to finally warm up uh, yeah it's been a really tough <laughs> crazy journey right through this past winter for me I picked up some of my spring summer clothes and I wear a lot of the quarter sleeves in the summer I love them and also you know when it gets really hot my tank stuff so I picked up that stuff uh, later on I will be going over my covers pillow covers or the or how many I have and the variety and what I have in them but this is the method I chose to store my clothes is to go with the uh, designer type pillow covers and they're the zipper style so I have this one which is an 18 by 18 or this size several of those and then two of the really big I think it's a 26 by 26 I believe and I'll again show that probably in April just before I have to get out of here or early May uh, once I figure out how I'm gonna store everything so still working on 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 that part and how much I can take with me and need and not need and still working on those issues when it comes to the bedding and clothing and stuff like that but for now this is the one that I had packed away with my summer stuff and shorts so what I'm going to do is have to transfer things out see here's the zipper on the bottom okay and I will be taking out and hanging up the stuff that I'm going to be wearing the most often those things will be hung up in my closet I'll pull some of my winter stuff out that I won't be needing and then I'll hang up some of my other stuff and my sundresses and you know some of the clothes that I need a little bit more or wear more often I'll have more available and hung up and then other extra ones I'll have rolled up and still tucked away in inside one of the bags the other thing I want to go over is um, if I do store especially a, a summer one because I have lots of summer ones because for one we sweat more it's hot more I like to be able to change my shirts more often because of those reasons and also if I'm washing them and waiting for them to dry I just like to have a little bit more of the summer stuff is it gonna stay <laughs> so um, the extra stuff will still be probably rolled up tucked away or it can even get wrinkled hanging up inside the closet so anything that you pull out and it's wrinkly what I do or how I get rid of the wrinkles is I use a water bottle method it works amazing I'll just spray the item down the shirt down I'll even spray down like my shorts uh, or I wear the uh, you know pants that go to the knees I just kind of you know spray it down and then the wrinkles just come out if it's super hot and you do that it'll help cool you down if it's not so hot then I'll spray it down just kind of hang it outside while I have my coffee and by the time I get done with my coffee between the sun and the and the wind it'll you know dry it out and take the wrinkles out so it's a win-win situation no matter what but definitely when it's super hot out <laughs> I will just wet it down put it on and it helps cool me down which is an amazing win-win situation during those you know really hot days 
So that's how I get the wrinkles out of my clothes. So I'm going to be working on this, you know, changing things out. And then I have an appointment next week, Thursday, to take my van to get something fixed. And I'll go over that with you next week. I'm going to, again, keep these weekly videos out of what's going on. I've got stuff to order. And then I'll go over what I'm ordering and why. And I think that's about it. So, again, still a lot on my plate each week because, you know, I do struggle with how much I can get done in a day because of my physical body but and my issues. But I just do the best I can each day. That's all I can do, you know. But time is getting critical here because of my deadline coming up here real soon to have to be out of the RV park so yeah so that's coming up real soon so I'll keep you posted what's going on and I really thank everybody for being along my journey <laughs> and stay tuned and for the next video what's going on and how far I'm getting and any changes and we'll go over everything then all right so thanks for following my journey your comments and for yeah coming along I guess Milo's deciding to bark out there <laughs> he's always watching the back I don't know if you can see him but yeah we had the morning one with him the clip with him <laughs> yeah you want to say hi to you too Milo come around I don't think he's gonna come around he's just too busy watching outside Milo you want to come say hi to you too yeah, can you guys see him a little bit? I hope so, so I don't have to move the camera. <laughs> yeah, you want to come? Yeah, if I, if I can't come too far because, yeah, come on. I'll, here, let me set this down so I can go get him for you. Come on, say hi to me too. Up in not the morning clip. So there he is. <laughs> yeah, there he is. We both have our little allergies we're fighting. A little bit, yeah. But we've got allergy pills and we're trying to get through it. We get you one hurdle and we got another one to face now, don't we? Yes. The Pacific Northwest, I always used to say, um, I love it, but it doesn't love me, <laughs> you know, um, or him either. All right, so well, we we love you all, and we say thank you for following our journey, and we'll see you in the next video. Right? He says yes. <laughs>